Good morning, Wildcat Nation. I'm Spencer McMullen. And I'm Gracie Thompson. It's Wednesday, December 8th. Here's what's happening today in and around South Vermilion High School. As we told you in the past couple days, our very own Nathan Mock was honored recently by being one of just two high school students from the state of Indiana to take part in the U.S. Senate Youth Program this spring. This is a very sought-after program, and Mock said his interest in the government is really what drove him to pursue this program. So, um, I decided to pursue the Senate Youth uh, Program because I've always had a, uh, an interest in the workings of the government. Not necessarily because uh, I'm, I guess, rigidly woke for one side or the other, but just how, how it works, um, what, the, um, what the people in government are like. Uh, and I think this will be an opportunity to, to learn from those people and um, hopefully make it work better in the future. The U.S. Senate Youth Program is a lengthy process that Mock worked through to be even considered. So to um, actually be selected for this um, Senate Youth Program, I was um, first had to apply um, online and write an essay about what my um, what I think the most important role of a citizen is, and I said it is um, of uh, thorough education, whether it's uh, self-education, educating others. The more education we have, the better um, the better citizens we, we can be. Uh, uh, after that step, I had to give a, an interview uh, in, Indiana in Indianapolis and take a, um, a test on my knowledge of current events. This year's event will be a virtual one. Instead of traveling to Washington for meetings, but that didn't dampen Mock's enthusiasm for the conference and his chance to speak with some high-level government officials. So um, this year's uh, virtual program is going to be uh, obviously online on Zoom. I'll get to meet with um, other, other leaders from other states, uh, other delegates. I'll get to um, have a conversation with uh, both of our uh, Indiana U.S. Senators, um, Todd Young and Mike Braun. Uh, I'll get to meet uh, cabinet secretaries. Um, Pete Buttigieg, the transportation secretary, is um, an Indiana Senate Youth alumni, actually. And uh, they always have a um, member of the Supreme Court uh, featured. Um, so just those, um, those types of senior um, Washington leaders, I'll get to uh, engage with on leadership and public service. This is a great process for Nathan, and we can't wait to hear about his conference this spring. Way to go, Nathan. Wildcat Nation is behind you 100%. Keeping with the government theme, applications are now open for the, the Indiana Senate PAGE program. This is an interactive educational experience for students in grades 6 through 12 to learn about state government. Senate Pages has the opportunity to tour Indiana's historical state house, including the House and Senate chambers, the Supreme Court, and the government, governor's office. They can observe the legislative session directly from the floor of the Senate, listen to debates on important policy issues, and meet and assist senators with age-appropriate tasks. Visit surveymonkey.com r 2022 SPP to fill out an application. Our South Vermilion Band will be hosting Breakfast with Santa beginning at 10 a.m. December 12th at the Clinton Community Center. Tickets are just $12 for the all-you-can-eat breakfast, crafts, and of course a photo with the big guy himself. Before you know it, Wildcats, final exam time will be here. The final exam committee, led by Mr. Adelon, is proud to come up with an exciting schedule this year. Final exams for periods 1, 2, 3, and 4 will be Monday, December 20th. Students will have an hour to complete each exam. There will be a 10-minute break between first and second period exams, as well as, a, as well as between second and third period tests. Lunch will follow your third period exam. Following lunch, your fourth period exam will be administered. Students will be in class the remainder of the, of the day, sixth, sixth, and seventh periods. Tuesday, December 21st, will feast your exams for periods five, six, and seven. There will be breaks in between tests, and you will end the semester with regular class periods for one, two, and three. 
Mr. Idawan would like to make sure everyone understands students cannot leave until all final exams are completed for the day. Students who are exempting out of finals will be watching a movie in the auditorium after attendance is taken. Students are not allowed to go to the movie after completing their final. This year, the Indiana High School Athletic Association will be celebrating, along with the rest of the country, the 50th, the 50th anniversary of Title IX and the beginning of inclusion and opportunity for all. Title IX did not simply provide opportunity for young ladies. It opened the door to support all student athletes in all programs. It promoted intentional conversations with impressionable boys and girls with respect to inclusion and mutual respect for all within our communities. For lunch today in both lines, lasagna, ravioli, green beans, and peaches. That's going to do it for the news, Wildcats. Let's send things over to Sienna Norman, who has a look at our sports. How things go last night. Thanks, Gracie. We have plenty to talk about in sports, so let's get right to it. Our swim teams were in action last night as they traveled to Seager to swim against North Vermilion, North Vermilion and the Patriots. The girls' team improved to 7-2, and two, beating both schools with SV scoring, 142, Seager 134, and North Vermilion 15. Emily Meyer, Maya Taylor, Tori Williams all picked up individual wins, while Taylor, Meyer, Williams, and Madison Hines won the medley relay, and Meyer, Taylor, Williams, and Mackenzie Mackey won the 400 relay. The boys won their meet with a 158 point total to Seekers 111 and North Vermillion's 9. Nolan Skinner, Jack Spur, Trevor Shannon, Jay Skinner, Walter Beardsley, and Tyler White were all individual winners. Nick Royer, Nol Nolan Williams, Nick Wall, and Michael Berger all helped the relay teams pick up victories as well. Both teams will be back in action Thursday when they host Attica and Covington. In girls basketball action last night, our Lady Wildcats dropped a tough home game to Northview 58-17. Leading the way for SB were Kenley Minor with nine points, Natalie Silver added four, and Hannah Ping chipped in four. The Lady Wildcats will be back in action Thursday night when they travel to Edgewood. That's going to do it for your sports. Let's send it over to the Weather Center and Cooper McMullen. What's up, Wildcats? It's your eye in the sky, Cooper McMullen. Today, we're going to have a high of 42. Sun's going to be shining. But tonight, it's going to get to a low 24, cloudy skies. Tomorrow night, sun's just going to be shining just a bit with a high of 51. And then tomorrow night, it's going to be a low of 42 with a cloudy night. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Friday, we're going to have a high of 62, but it's going to be raining. So grab your umbrella with a low of 38. Saturday, we're going to have a high of 44. Sun's going to be shining just a bit with a low of 27. Sunday, we're gonna have a high of 49. Sun's gonna be shining with a low of 32. And then Monday, it's gonna be a high of 52. Sun's gonna be shining all day with a low of 39. And then finally, Tuesday, with a high of 58. So for your joke of the day, who's Santa's favorite singer? Elf is Presley. That's gonna do it for the news, Wildcatch. Have a wonderful Wednesday.